We are back and we continue to follow the latest developments in that deadly school shooting in Texas. The suspected gunman, 17-year-old Demetrios Pagorchis, could be arraigned any moment now. Police say he carried a shotgun and a revolver into Santa Fe High School and killed 10 people. Authorities say explosive devices, including a Molotov cocktail, were found in the school and nearby. Students describing an all-too-familiar scene now. I heard three gunshots, and then after that, the teachers didn't say nothing. And then we heard more gunshots, and I seen someone running like from across the field where we were at behind the school. And then we all, the teachers just screamed at us to run and told us to take off. Mm. Again, Pogorchis could be arraigned at any moment. Now he is going to be charged with capital murder. Stay with Eyewitness News and ABC News for continuing coverage of the shooting. You can also find information and updates around the clock at ABC 7 NY. Now at five, a family tragedy in Midtown, a former Playboy centerfold and her seven-year-old son plunging to their deaths from a hotel penthouse. The mother and son died amid a custody battle with the Playmates' estranged husband. Iowa News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal is live in Midtown with details. Naveen. Well, Diana, many who knew Stephanie Adams try to make sense of exactly what happened in the penthouse this morning here at the Gotham Hotel, including her former attorney who actually just recently suggested she get some counseling. Police responding to a horrible sight this morning at the Gotham Hotel, a seven-year-old dead after being forced to jump more than 20 floors off of a balcony with his own mother now identified as former Playboy model Stephanie Adams. He was cute as a button and very, very bright. Uh, and uh, he was her whole life. Raul Felder, Adams' former divorce attorney, in disbelief and emotional, talking about seven-year-old Vincent and calling his mother a kind and gentle person. But the last few weeks and months for Adams were sure not peaceful. She was involved in a tumultuous split from her strange husband, even forcing Felder to have her find other representation. I thought she really did need psychiatric help. And I told her she has to go and she has to get a, a psychiatrist that will work with the lawyer. Whether that would have helped now doesn't matter. It's not clear what happened in that hotel room this morning. But many have to wonder the state of mind a mother could be in to take her own child's life along with hers. It's shocking, of course. I mean, it's, it's very sad. Uh, it is just horrible. Now, we've learned this past week a judge denied Adams to take her son to Europe. Also, things between the couple were so bad that a visitation exchange had to be done at a local police precinct here with the NYPD. Now, despite that information, police still looking for a motive.